Okay, let's talk a little bit about the 2014 New York Giants. The New York Giants have been a model of stability in the NFC H, which is giving them an edge over the Redskins and the Cowboys. Under President John Mara and head coach Tom Coughlin, the G-Men have won two Super Bowls since the 2007 season, but a deeper look reveals that it's been hit and miss since 2008 as the Giants made the playoffs just once in the last five seasons. At quarterback, Eli Manning triggered the two world championships, but also the epic failure of last season with a quarterback rating of just 69.4 and an 18 to 27 TD to interception ratio. Now Manning's defenders would argue that the bad numbers were from lack of support, but too many poor decisions were made by the Giants franchise QB. The New York Giants dropped off dramatically last season on offense as quarterback Eli Manning looked completely lost at times. The team finally got rid of offensive coordinator Kevin Gilbride and brought in Ben McAdoo. Manning will have a new running back to give the ball to this year, and Rashad Jennings, who, who rushed for a career-high 733 yards with six TDs last year in Oakland. Manning should also get more time to throw as the team added guard Jeff Schwartz. Manning will miss Hakeem Nix, but he still has Victor Cruz to throw to, and the team took Odell Beckham Jr. in the draft. The New York Giants defense had their moments, but overall, the unit was still pretty weak a year ago. May not get much better this season as they, they will be without John Beeson and Justin Tuck. Beeson is injured and Tuck is in Oakland. They need Beeson back as soon as possible and they also need Jason Pierre-Paul to play up to his abilities this season. The secondary should be a little bit better with the addition of Demique Rogers Cromartie and Walter Thurmond. The team added 17 new players for the upcoming season and they lost over 20 players from last season's squad. The Giants have been an inconsistent favorite on the board with a mark of 10 and 10 against the spread when laying points, and 13 out of their last 20 games as chalk have gone under the total. Big Blue has been a solid value on the board as an underdog, however, with 12 payouts in their last 19 games as a dog, and just 5 out of the last 17 games as a dog going over the total. The Giants ended with a 7-9 record last season, both straight up and against the spread, and the team's games averaged 42.3 points. Join us at BetDSI for the best New York Giants betting options, including futures, props, and live in-progress betting during the games.